All right, welcome back. So this is an Alex topic that's called using Hess's law to calculate net reaction enthalpy. This is a pretty good topic. Um, we're going to be putting together a variety of, of information, um, of concepts to get to this final answer. And the goal in this problem is to figure out the change in enthalpy for the formation of one mole of acrylic acid. So this species here, that is my acrylic acid. You can just read the problem to figure out which one that is. Um, it, it tells you. So in this step two, we're gonna form in this reaction here, five moles of acrylic acid, but I really, I only want to know the information for one mole of acrylic acid. So we're gonna to have to keep that in mind as we go through this problem. Okay, so the first thing that I would do to get started is what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to add these two reactions together um, to get one net reaction. So there's, there's previous topics that, that lead into this topic where I've got a series of two reactions, I need to figure out how to manipulate them such that when I add them together, any intermediates are canceled out. And if I look at these two reactions, I notice that this C2H2, this acetylene gas, is an intermediate. So we form some acetylene gas in the first step, and then we use up that acetylene gas in the second step. But our multiple ratio here is not balanced. So the first thing I'm gonna wanna do, is I'm gonna multiply this whole top reaction by six. And I've chosen by six because I, when I add these reactions together, I know that I wanna cancel out that intermediate. So if I've got C2H2 here with one mole, I wanna get rid of it, so I've gotta multiply that top reaction by six. So let's write that down here. Six calcium C2 calcium carbide plus 12 H2O gas is gonna to go to six C2H2 acetylene, which is good because that's gonna cancel out here in our next step, plus six calcium hydroxide solid. Now our delta H, we're gonna also multiply that by six. So if you multiply this by six times six equals minus 2484 kilojoules. So, you know, if I multiply the, the reaction by six, I'm gonna multiply the delta H as well by the same factor. So the new delta H for this reaction really is this minus 24 84 kilojoules. Now I'm gonna add the reactions together. I'm gonna to add this reaction plus this reaction here, and I should get a new net reaction. The intermediates are gonna cancel out, right? So my, my acetylene gas is gonna cancel out on both sides. So let's go ahead and, and write that out. So we would have, I'm just gonna start here, group everything on the left-hand side together, and then everything on the right-hand side will cancel out what we need to cancel out. So six calcium carbide, plus 12 H2O gas, plus six C2H2 gas, plus three CO2, plus four more water molecules. I'm gonna draw this, the next line right below it. Um, six C2H2 gas, plus six calcium OH2, plus, 5CH2, CHCO2H, that's a big one. And if I have added these two reactions together, then I'm gonna add the delta H for these reactions. So the delta H for my new net reaction here is minus 2352 kilojoules. So I just added this uh, minus 2484 plus 132 because when I add this new reaction right to this bottom reaction, this is my new net reaction, so I've got to add that delta H. Now, we could go through and we could cancel out our intermediates, right? So we've got an intermediate there. And now, the question is, well, I only want to know what the delta H for one mole of acrylic acid is. And here my reaction has five moles of acrylic acid. So to get from five moles to one mole, I'm gonna divide everything by five. So basically I'm gonna divide this whole reaction by five, divide my delta H by five. So minus 2,342 divided by five, and let's write it out, minus 2,352 kilojoules divided by five. Um, and again, the reason I'm dividing by five is because this delta H is for the formation of five moles. I only want the formation of, for one mole. And then the answer I got is minus 470.4 kilojoules. So it says round to the nearest kilojoule, so we're gonna round that to minus 470 kilojoules. That is our final answer. Um, so these problems, basically all you need to do, figure out what the intermediate is, step one, uh, balance 
out the intermediate. So if I've got six C2H2 here, I wanna make it so I have six C2H2 up here. Uh, you know, then we're gonna add the reactions together. So we're gonna add our delta H's together, and then we're gonna divide by whatever the coefficient is um, in front of our, our target molecule. So in this case, that's that acrylic acid. And when we add the reactions together, this gives us the delta H4. When we have five moles, uh, we only want one mole, so we're gonna divide by five. That's our final answer. All right, hope that helps.